All right, here we go. We're gonna go with a quick video right now. So here's my account. I'm a Grandmaster AD carry on North America currently, 502 LP. And I'm gonna make a video about how I got here. Obviously I played the game a lot and got a lot better, but the thing is if you're below masters, we'll say, and you're trying to get better by only playing the game, you're taking the long route. You're working harder than you need to for no reason. So here are my five tips that will help you improve with less time and less work. So tip number one is going to be, we'll even pull it up on stream to make it right nice for you guys. Tip number one is going to be, add text, play less, wow. What do you mean? How am I supposed to get better if I play less League of Legends? Well, it means that the games that you're going to play, you're going to fully focus on. You're going to fully focus on the games that you play. You're not going to use any excuses as to why you can't climb, why your teammates suck. It doesn't matter. You're going to go in, you're going to try your absolute hardest. So tip number one is you're going to play less League of Legends. Three games a day, three to five games a day full focus and then if you want you can go on a second account and play your little four fun games or your arams or your normals whatever but look i had to gm in 600 games i'll probably end the season around a thousand games now you want to see what happened to me last season last season my dumbass spammed 40 different champions maybe not 40 we'll say uh we'll say 14 different champions for 2000 games played last season I mean, I don't need to add all these numbers. I remember last season I was very close to 2,000. I might have even hit it. 2,000 games played last season, and I was stuck D1 promos masters. So all I did was I focused on playing my best every single game. And, you know, all my win rates are up, all my KDAs are up, all my stats are up, and I'm a higher rank. So that's number one. Okay, number two. Let me check the notepad. Dodging games I won't enjoy. Now, obviously I can't show you, but I can show you this. I have a video here on what I know I won't enjoy. So I have a video that explains this process to you. It's right here. This looks like a dodgeball. Where are you at, my video? Dodging 101. So this video tells you what I'm not going to like. Here's some examples. Dodge when you're off roll auto filled because I'm not going to enjoy a game that I'm auto filled. We're going to dodge people's one tricks that are banned out. We're going to dodge boosted and sus accounts. Now, obviously you might have a, um, you might have a higher tolerance for this bullshit than I do. That's the nicest way to say it. If you're completely fine with playing with a one trick on your team whose one trick's banned out and they're four funding first time Aurelia mid, go ahead, play it. If you have the tolerance to deal with your 0-8 Aurelia mid with 5,000 damage done at the end of the game, go ahead. You're allowed to. Nobody cares. But dodge the games that you know you're not going to have fun. If it's going to give leave you with a, with a bad taste in your mouth at the end of the game and you're like, God damn, I knew I should have dodged, then you should have dodged. It's that simple. Okay, on to... Step, tip number three. Tip number three, VOD reviewing. And I know you guys hate it. Everyone hates to hear it. When I don't want a VOD review. I just want to play League. Well, guess what? Now that you're playing less, you're following step one, you're going to do step fucking three. You're going to VOD review. I don't care if you download this and just watch five of your deaths. Hello, Dave. Like, if you just come in and you're like, look, I was 14, 5, and 9. I played amazing. I'm the best player in the world. I don't need to review this game. You're not going to get any better. All I have to do, click on bars, 8x. Let's go see where I died. If you're super lazy, you can look for the timestamps for your deaths. Look, I died to a volley bear gank. Oh, I, I was being greedy for the wave and died trying to fix my wave. And my wave ended up even more fucked. So I should have just recalled without dying anyway. Okay, on to my next death. Oh, looks like I died to another Volley Bear gank. We pull it back. Why, why am I dying to Volley Bear ganks? What happened here? Oh, it was a 3v3 that went bad and he counter ganked. So I kind of got baited by Jungler, but, you know, okay, where's my next death? 
Oh, I got solo killed by a Twitch. Oh, he just flashed on me and ran me down. Damn, I should have tracked his flash and played more safe. Didn't track his flash timer. Ooh, died to a Vigar. Oh, double ulted. I remember this death. It was on stream yesterday. I was being a greedy little bastard for an extra wave after I stole the Raptors. I knew that they had... I knew that he had uh, ultimate. And I didn't know that Orn had ultimate. So the Orn ult CCs me for Vigar to get in range. And let's go find the last death. So, you know, what have we learned so far from this VOD review? Track ultimates better, track flash better, be more aware of where the jungler is to not die to the gank, and let's see the last team fight. How do I die here? I can't even see myself. Oh, I'm right in the middle. Okay, I'm here autoing, missed my ultimate, get hit by Ornal. Oh, I'm way too far forward. Oh, no, that's a pretty fogger play, but way too far forward. Okay, positioned way too aggressively, and that's it. That's five deaths, VOD review is over. Wow, that was so intensive. VOD reviewing so hard, oh my god. Guys, seriously, if you want to get better, you need to VOD review. If you're not VOD reviewing, you're a lazy piece of shit, and I'm telling you right now. Now, hopefully that's your wake-up call. So, that brings me to number four, losing your ego. Listen to your damn high elo players telling you what to do better. They tell you VOD reviewing is good, fucking do it. Stop questioning shit and thinking that you're better than everybody. Just fucking do it, bro. So... Also, what I meant by losing ego, though, when I noted it here, is turn off your fucking chat. Stop typing to people. These kids don't mean nothing to you, and they don't. you don't mean anything to them. They don't care what you type. The only time I would even accept you typing in chat is if you type, guys, we can do Baron in 60 seconds when uh, Aurelia shows bottom after she reses because she doesn't have TP. If you if you can fucking type quick enough to type that shit out and your team's gonna read it and listen to you and go rush the Baron because Aurelia shows bot with no TP, sure, man, sure. That'll be a good use of typing. But it's like one in a thousand game scenario is not even worth it. The time that you spent typing that message, maybe you missed somebody showing on the map. Maybe you missed that like your top laner had to flash. Like maybe you, you missed something else. It's just not worth it. It's not helping you get any better. Now, obviously, if you're super tryhard, you can start typing their summoner spell cooldown, their flashes, and doing like the copy paste. For me, I try to remember summoner spell cooldowns by comparing it to my own. Oh, the three of them flash? Okay, my flash is available and theirs is not. Then I flash? Okay, three of they have three of those people that flashed earlier have their flashes available and mine is not. Right? That's how I think of it. So I track summoner spells by comparing it to others. Oh, this guy used cleanse and I used exhaust to remove the or I use cleanse to remove the exhaust. Now I know that they're the same cooldown, right? They'll be back up at the same time. Unless they have uh, cosmic insight or unless they have lucidity boots, but it gets a little bit more complicated and that's besides the point. So then we're gonna bring you to step number five. Number five, the, the most underrated thing that even high elo players don't do because they are as lazy as you. This is it. Just go into the practice tool. Just pick the character you like to play, go into the practice tool. Yes, you can say that with pings for doing the Baron, but sometimes, especially in lower elo, pings are uh, misinterpreted. So, typing is like a way to get your thought directly across, but then there's a chance that they have chat off. So literally, all you do in practice tool, guys, you pick your champion that you want to play. Like if, if you've played Zeri, if you have over 10 games of Zeri this season and you haven't done this, you're a lazy piece of shit. It's that simple. Like, if you wanted to actually get better at Zeri, you would come into practice tool and do this. You're probably wondering, well, what's he going to do? What's so important? Why, why haven't I done it yet? It's this simple, right? You put all your points in, you're gonna, it doesn't matter where you put them, as long as you have all your abilities, you're literally going to walk around to all the walls with unlimited cooldowns, unlimited mana, and you're just gonna practice lineups. Like, if you didn't know that this lineup existed, you're lazy. Lazy. If you didn't know that you can do this lineup to the alcove, lazy. It's actually much easier to do the other way. But, like, once again, I'm being lazy, you know, I could definitely learn it. To come in this way. I've actually never done it this direction. I don't know if you can. So this is what I mean. Well, we'll keep the video short. I won't sit here and practice it. 
but you can do it from here but i don't think you can do it from back here and i failed it anyway so like there you go if you fail it in practice tool you won't fail it in game so like and this applies to more than just zeri because i'm about to show you something that'll blow your mind and then you can also throw in some little bit of complicated things where you w like this Ooh, so special, but the more you do it in the practice tool, the easier it'll be when you're in the game, right? Because you'll have this, uh, this practice on it. Like, you can write, wall write all these walls. And you can also do it up here. I'm gonna die if I don't get the lineup quick enough. Uh... Flash! Right? And, like, this isn't just for Zeri. We'll go ahead and we'll show you on Ziggs really quick, and then that'll be the end of the video. But yeah, hopefully you're making use of these five tips. If you're just playing League all day, every day, and wondering why you're not getting better, it's because you're doing the same thing all of your opponents are doing. Like, do you think that people get better at chess by just sitting there playing chess all day, every day? No. They study. They review. Do you think people get better at, like, hockey by sitting there playing games, scrimmages all day, pick up hockey all day? No. They go to practice. They listen to their coach. Do you think people get better at football? No. They read playbooks. They watch plays. They watch other teams, they study. Like, if you guys are just playing the game, you're just playing a fucking game. And then you're gonna cry and say that you're not getting better is because you don't want to get better. Now, once again, if you're listening to this video, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Because if you, if you have been able to find this channel and you're watching this channel, then most of this shit that I'm saying doesn't apply to you. But go ahead and share it to your dumbass friend that doesn't want to improve and cries that he's silver for four years in a row. Because if you did want to improve, he would have been able to find the channel, you know, the same way you did. But let's go ahead and let's buy Ziggs. Because I remember doing this with Ziggs, and it instantly boosted me to rank 1 Ziggs NA. You want to know what I did? I spent 50 minutes in the practice tool messing around with his satchel charge. That's it. And I learned all kinds of crazy wall lineups. You want to know how I got good at Heimer? I walked around playing with his Q in practice tool in Season 9 learning how to place his cues over walls to scout bushes. Like, it, it takes no time at all. No time at all. And it applies for every game that you're going to play for the rest of the season. For the next two, three, four, five years. Like, I learned how to play Heimer three years ago. I could pick Heimer right now and still know how to play him. It really do be that easy. The same thing, all you do, auto-refresh, auto-refresh mana, level up a couple times. We can even put all my points in. Don't need items. Like, did you know that you can W over this wall if you put your package close enough? Probably not, right? Did you know that you can W over this wall if you put your package close enough? Probably not, right? Do you guys know how to flash over this wall? Probably not, right? Yeah. Are you guys ever failing this flash in a game? Probably all the time, right? Now this is a really hard package to do, but it is doable. Like that one I would not do in a game because it takes too long to line up. But just to let you know, it is doable. Right? But like these are things you don't even see because people don't practice it. Like just like anything in life, if you want to get better, you have to practice. And then you can get a little bit fancy with zigs and you can do stuff like this where you W and Q at the same time. So we're adding an extra step, right? Hit him with a little fade away. Up, right? I don't know if you can do it with your R. I've never tried. You can even do it with your R. There you go. Learn something new just by coming in practice tool. That simple. You can do it with all your abilities. So there you go. My five tips to get better. Hopefully you employ them and try to improve. And, you know, I hope you see success with the tips. Good luck in your solo queue games. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos if you want more specific stuff about a certain champion or whatever.